Guys, I'll tell you what. I wish I could take this completely off. I have not been able to. Uh, Cause I'd like to get the top of this. It's not clogged, but you can see that there is uh, creosote. Now, Mom and Becky's, I can take their cap off with absolutely no problem. I'm gonna see if I can't. chicken dinner. Alright. Alright. Beautiful. Now this pipe in here actually don't look bad. The pipe inside there guys um, in here it doesn't look bad at all. So it was just the build up was out on this other pipe and then it gets built up, the creosote does, on uh, the wire mesh, and so I'm actually going to go ahead and drop that down, we don't need that no more. Okay, so actually my side's not bad at all. Um, so, my side wasn't too bad, and so, uh, this is another one of the reasons why we burn hardwoods and not pines. When you burn pines, you get a lot of buildup uh, in your chimney, up on top, a, a ton of, a ton of buildup. But now over, and you can probably see, uh, Mom and Becky's is clear as well now. Uh, you can see all the creosote up on top of the roof over there. And so I had to get up on their roof. Well, the difference between where their place is and my place, I have the ledge of over here that I can put this ladder on. It's very easy to get up. And my stack is on the outside here, so it's more accessible. Their stack is dead center. So I ended up having to put up this ladder over here, climb up. I had Becky hold the ladder. I had to climb onto the roof, and it was very, very slippery. I, I will tell you that, real slippery. So I worked my way over. Uh, took their cap right off and cleaned that. Uh, Mom said, "Yeah, well, it's been it's been backdrafting for about a week." I go, "Mom, when it backdrafts, you gotta let me know because I gotta get up and I have to clean it." Now, this is one of those projects that um, has been put on the back burner, and it usually ends up happening is that I go, "Oh, now we got an issue," and it's usually in the middle of the night. Um, I've had that happen before, and so I've been trying to be more proactive the last couple of years in getting up here in the beginning of the season, and then I'll, I'll come back up probably like March and uh, clean them again. But like mine, like I said, mine wasn't bad at all. So uh, very, very fortunate in that aspect. But so here's a nice view uh, from above. Now the dogs are all enjoying bones out here uh, in the dog run because... Uh, Dennis, uh, a friend of his, got a deer, and they were cleaning the deer up, and uh, so he had to go, Ed, I got a bunch of bones for you. I said, well, the dogs will be very, very happy, and as you can see, uh, they're all, three of them are sitting around. I probably threw about nine bones in there, so that was definitely going to keep them entertained for a while. Uh, they've been coming in and out. I just put them back out before I came out here. Our high today is only going to be about 32 degrees. We're very lucky that there's no wind today, so that makes a big, big difference too. So I probably should tell you what day it is, right? Um, today is Tuesday. It is the 23rd of November, 2021. And so this, now like I said, mine, my stack was not bad at all. Their stack was very blocked, and so I had to clean that very good for them, and they should be good to go moving forward here. Uh, you know, it's it's one of those maintenance things that you have to do when you have a you know a chimney. 
uh, and, and stuff like that. You have to take care of those things because, again, nine times out of ten when it's going to start really backdrafting is in the middle of the night when it's very, very windy uh, and there's snow everywhere and it just makes it a nightmare to try to do it. So even today, with it being a milder day, uh, as far as, uh, you know, it's not at the moment it's not snowing. We had a little snow earlier, but uh, it's, uh, you know, something that I was able to take get up there and take care of and like that. So, uh, yeah, so it's just like I said, it's one of those things that I had put off uh, that I had not addressed that needed to be addressed. And, you know, of course, then it's like I I'm got fortunate that, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a better day to do it as opposed to trying to climb up on the roof when it's, you know, 40 mile an hour winds and it's, you know, 20 below zero with the wind chill factor. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, so that's, that's what we're, you know, getting, now that's done. Uh, we should be realistically good to go uh, on both houses. My guess would probably be to at least March. And so if we get, so this is what I'll end up doing. If we get a warm spell, let's, let's say we get into January and we have some warm days, the roofs are cleaned off, there's no snow on the roofs, uh, the sun has been out, it's melted everything off of there, I'll climb up at that point and I will check stuff out and see where we're at. And I'll probably just clean it anyway at that point, um, even if it's not bad, just because that way you stay ahead of it. But uh, so those are one of the things that you definitely have to address and has to be taken care of when you live off grid. And, uh, you know, I try, like I said, to get things um, squared away on a regular basis, but it doesn't always work that way. You know, uh, other things come up, you get busy with other projects. And uh, so that's what happens. So anyway, so now that's done, that's out of the way. We should be good to go for quite a while. Uh, and again, we don't burn pine in the house. Uh, pine is strictly used for outside, for a, you know, uh, a fire outside, and that's it. And so, that's where we're at with that. But uh, yeah, so good day. Just trying to get some things done. I, I actually had to run today again. Uh, you know, got to pay some bills and and take care of that. And then uh, Beck or Heather and I were going to stop at the store, so I called Becky. And I said, so I'll tell you about this. Uh, I said, did you get a turkey yet? And she said, no. I said, well, I'm at the store right now. I'll pick up a turkey. She said, okay. So when we got, well, first of all, the stores were jammed. I mean, just in the middle of the day, uh, stores were jammed. And so we grabbed a turkey, a 22-pound turkey, and it was uh, 22 point something. Uh, it's almost $2 a pound for the turkey. And so it was like 40, I think it was like $45 for uh the the turkey and i'm like well you know what are you going to do it is what it is and there's not much we can do about it so we got to suck it up and we'll go go ahead and buy it because we're going to have a nice turkey dinner here at the homestead so uh get up to the to the counter to check out and uh when we're checking out uh 28.99 so uh almost 29 dollars comes off the price of the turkey and i said to the girl i said what, what was that she said, oh, if you spend more than $25, uh, you get a huge discount on the turkey. Which, obviously, if you're shopping, folks, for Thanksgiving, uh, you're spending well more than $25. So uh, it was a, that was a nice little surprise. So the turkey actually then, uh, after the discount, ended up being about 15 bucks. Now, I did spend a couple other $100 in groceries. You know, you have to have... Uh, the rye bread dip and the bread and you have to have the pumpkin pie and the apple pie and uh you know pop and everything else that you need to have and uh you know so we're getting all those things and uh you know so you, you know and then you got to get all whatever else you want as well so uh but no, it's a good thing so uh again i know I've, I've said this before but uh thanksgiving is absolutely my favorite holiday uh i love it it's uh it's about family it's about getting together, breaking bread, and enjoying each other's company, uh, catching up because we all have busy lives, and you know we're not always going to be able to sit down for a meal and uh, a get together. So Thanksgiving's a great day for that. And uh, like I said, I just, I mean, I love turkey, I uh, love the stuffing, mashed potatoes, you know, the gravy, uh, everything that's associated with it. Love pumpkin pie. So yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> It's definitely, like I said, it's definitely my favorite holiday. So, but uh, the stores were absolutely bombarded today. Uh, it was amazing how many people were in there shopping. 
uh, again in the middle of the day. You know, it's not after, uh, you know, 5 o'clock when a lot of people get out of work and then they got to go do their shopping. Then I hate to see what that store is going to be like tonight. I think it's going to be uh, probably a nightmare. But, uh, so that's where we're at. Uh, I do have to get these flags down, which I will be doing very, very shortly. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get to it today, but uh, they all do have to come down. And uh, that's another <laughs> another thing that's got to get finished up. So we're getting there. But uh, anyway, uh, real quick, I want to mention my website, PrepperNurse1.com. We have the PrepperNurse1 community there, which is a resource that we set up for you guys to be able to connect with like-minded people. Uh, it is free to join. No credit card information is asked. Um, and once you get in there, but you do have to register. So once you get in there, uh, you check out the message boards, check out the state or country that you live in, and try to find somebody in that state or country that you can work with. Um, and that's completely up to you at that point. So we just set up the connection point, and so it's there for you guys. All right. Uh, also on my website, we have the Legacy Freeze Dried Foods, which is a long term food storage. So if you go to my website, PrepperNurse1.com, you click on store, it will drop down, you will see Legacy Foods. Click on that, it will take you to the store within the website. What we have available is there. So definitely take advantage of that, okay? Uh, also, um, let's see, what was I going to tell you? 25-year uh, shelf life, GMO-free, made in the United States. Uh, it is vegetarian, but there are beef and chicken options that can be purchased separately. Also, uh, what was what else? Um, I'm trying to remember everything. Um, <laughs> gluten options are available as well for people that need that. And it is also the largest portion size of any of the other freeze-dried food companies. So definitely take advantage of that. And uh, so anyway, uh, also guys, I'm going to go ahead and jump off here for now. I will do another video later. But I figure I would show you, um, like with the wood stove, you know, what we have to do. One of the things that's part of it, uh, I will go down to the bottom of here and uh, there is a vent that I'll pull off and uh, more creosote will come out of that as well. Uh, but the buildup is not bad in the tubing itself. It usually, uh, where it gets thicker and crazy is at the top, uh, just because that's the exit point. So as long as you keep that clean, you're going to be in pretty good shape. So uh, anyway... Um, I am going to jump off of here for now. Remember, folks, we are all in this together. We are one race called the human race, and as soon as we can figure that out, we're going to be in much, much better shape. Uh, we need to stop letting them divide us over many, many different things. Race and religion are just two of them. Political affiliation, the vaxxed and the unvaxxed. Uh, there's so many games being played out there, and so many people are falling for it. It is it's actually sad. Um, you know, the division that they try to continuously perpetuate constantly, especially the news media. You know, so, you know, it's just, it, it's it's sad. Also remember, guys, hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life, so it's really important we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step thing and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you were trying to do, whatever you were trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only person that can stop you from reaching your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive. Stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. Continue to prep. Continue to get ready. Uh, we never know when that balloon is going to go up. But when it does, you are going to have what you have. So hopefully you have been listening. Hopefully you have been preparing. And uh, you're going to put yourself in a better situation to ride out the storm when that time comes. Uh, that is my hope. All right. I will see you all later. I hope everybody has a fantastic day. And I will see you on the next video. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.